Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with Hearts of Iron 4, Man the Guns, and we're going to continue playing. I've just gotten done from talking for, oh, about an hour with uh, the viewers, so you should really see about, well, you can either go check the old, the VOD over on Twitch or catch us live um, on Twitch to uh, hear us talk about the Spanish Civil War when and how Hitler could have been deposed and all kinds of other hopefully interesting topics um, we went over but we're going to continue this now um, so let the clock go we are currently shifting forces out of here um, out of Asia because we're really not seeing a real threat from Japan there messing around in Korea still but um they're not a real threat to us. I just don't really think. Britain has, because of our failed invasions, the ability to invade on its own much successfully. So we have to find partners or wait for partners to, to invade and try to follow up, I think is our best plan. Yes, Ares telling me to take Corfu and then try to, which really means here because Corfu itself doesn't have a port. Um, so I'd, I'd have to take this province to, to be able to supply my troops. We'll see about that when I get the, the troops coming out of Asia over. What do these look like? Um, template wise. Oh, those are actually good. Okay. Yeah, those are good. Okay. They, um, well, let's put you on boats and get you over to here. If we get enough good troops, we and if, and if it makes sense once they're in theater, we may do that. Well, the Americans are showing up. Good. So are the Indians. Oh, they pushed me back here. Okay, well, let's grab one of these divisions and move them here. I'm trying to keep something as a reserve. And we're back there, so let's see if we can reinforce them before they collapse. No. Counterattack with the other guys? Well, we'll do it, but I don't know that we're going to win. Yeah, um, all the, the Spanish rifles that I know of are Mauser variants, whether licensed or unlicensed. Um, I don't know it well. Um, they were using the 7mm Mauser, um, initially I think made by Mauser, um, John Paul Mauser's um, one of one of the, the versions of the company. Um, during the uh, Mexican, or no, the... the um, the Spanish Spanish American War, you know the famous, um, you know where Teddy Roosevelt in Cuba, um, the Spanish troops were were equipped with a seven millimeter Mauser, and so at that point they they were already as a standard Mauser type rifle in seven millimeter, and that's what they're using, and I think they continue to manufacture it. I own a nine millimeter um, Astra pistol. I forget the model number because there's. Uh, 400, 600, whatever. They're all very similar. Um, it mostly just varies the caliber, I think. Um, I forget which one it is. That was made in 9mm Parabellum for Germany during World War II, but not delivered to Germany, so it has no German stamps on it. Um, they, at some point, I, I don't know the exact year that they, they start making, Astra start making, making um, 9mm pistols for um for Germany, and um, but once the the Normandy landings and then the Anvil landings down in the south happen, it cuts off um, Spain's ability to deliver uh, weapons to Germany, and there there were already a bunch of Astra pistols made 
and it never got shipped and I believe the one I have is from that time period um, because again no German markings on it but it's in the serial number and it's been years since I it's in my gun safe um, sort of looked into it um, so it's, it's a, you know a 1944 or whatever year manufacturer Astra pistol but um, so they were making for for the Germans and where a lot of the standard um, Astras of that model or that style it's a slightly different model were made in nine millimeter Largo I know this is going in the weeds but it's a larger nine millimeter uh, cartridge they were making the Parabellum primarily for for German export um oh yes um we can invite um Ireland well okay we'll do that Let's see if okay Ireland has accepted they're coming in now the Nazis got to worry about everything they don't have any they don't have any Irish support uh, no we want to come here yeah um Now back over here. Uh, well, what do we need? What do we need? We need anti-tank, and maybe well, maybe move more and more towards tanks instead of light tanks. So anti-tank weapons. Advanced anti-tank. We'll do three factories. I know there's two still need to be built, but that's fine. Mm, I like Hearts of Iron. Oh, we're talking Sabaton songs. Okay. Saboteurs, yeah. We we do have um, out here, which well, I guess we could send up some troops into there. Aaron Gobra, yeah. Well, that is an unrealistic thing, having um, Ireland join the Allies. I would say they were I think the only nation I think the only nation to um, to have the Prime Minister uh, send condolences to the German Embassy on the death of Adolf Hitler yeah um, let's attack here see if we can reduce pressure on this other pocket If none of you attack with me, we won't get that. Um, Sabaton, yeah, it's a um, mm, a melodic heavy metal group, I guess is what the specific term of heavy metal, that does um, historical and war um, songs. So if you don't like that type of heavy metal and it's not because it's a specific type of heavy metal you might not like it um i like it in modest bursts meaning i don't want to listen to it forever but listen to a few songs sure absolutely they're really cool i also like to hell and back i don't know if that's one of the ones you've been mentioning but um i like that song Wing Tussars, that's another very good one. See, it just this latest Verdun doesn't hold up to either Hell and Back and Wing Hussars, in my opinion. Again, it's not that it's a bad song, and you can love it. I'm not saying you shouldn't, but it just it doesn't add as much as some of the other stuff. Okay, Churchills. Now we have Churchills. And, hmm, okay. 
Don't know that we need amphibious tanks, um, light tanks. I don't know that we need to do the Valentine. We've got Cromwell's. We'll see. We've got all that done that we need to do. I don't even know if these are useful at this point in the game. Not just ever, but at this point in the game. Don't know how useful better anti-aircraft for us now would be. Reconnaissance would be useful, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think, um, yeah, a few of the few of their songs are really great, in my opinion. Sabatons. A bunch of their stuff is good, but some of it just comes down to, I think, tastes. Okay. Those guys, these are here now. Okay. Um, well, come to here, we may do another invasion. We're thinking about the sort of Corfu area, but I'm not sure yet. Yes, we want to unassign all of those, so these are all here. And now we're going to send them all over to here. So I know we have these troops, but I'm sort of waiting if, if we can get... Um, I'm going to try another improved relations here. They like us, but not enough to get into the faction. Democratic pressure wants to contain aggression. Legionary Romania. Turkish opinion of the United King. Base reluctance, negative 20, non-aligned, negative 50. We have a war that they may be drawn into. Yeah, I don't know if we can get them in. Coup in Romania. Okay. What does that mean for us? Does that just mean they went to Leg Legionary Romania? Or I thought they already were. Okay. Bomber Command. Yeah, well, they're definitely not a death metal in um, uh, tone. In my opinion, um, I don't like death metal either. But um, yeah, it's it's definitely not a a motley crew or other fast paced metal experiences. Because there, I would say I don't. Maybe it's wrong, but operatic, balladish, you know their music. Okay, we've got three more divisions and made it here. Um, um, I'm going to push this way with them. Okay, we're fighting Von Welch. He, well, we only get three divisions in battle so far. Come on, put more divisions in. Oh, yeah. They don't do good reinforcing well.
Uh oh, they're pushing deeper in here, guys. Come on, come on. This is sort of what I mean that we, even with all this help, we haven't been able to hold this pocket effectively. Though I'm sure that this pocket has taken off of pressure from the, the Soviet Union. Um, um, well, some of their stuff is faster, some of their stuff is slower, but if you, it's, you know, uh, Yes, painkiller. Um, know the song fairly well. Good song. Oh, hell, you're already here. Okay. Take that. Retake that back. Come on, people. Come on, put some more divisions into the damn line, people. So that's why we're that's one of the reasons why we're losing so badly is that they're not reinforcing the attacks. Cause we have you have a reserve that could overwhelm them, but Also noticing the air power. Where's an air base here? Oh, we've lost all of our air bases now, have we? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, well, let's see. What kind of air power do we? Okay, we got plenty of Spitfires. You come up over Greece, kill enemy air. Come up over Greece. Kill enemy bombers. I think we've been low on it. Well, okay, there's some good ground support there. Kill their ground units. Yes, I notice we are over overstressed the air bases, but well let's Add some more up here, can we? Yeah. We're still holding it. Or you can come up and go after anything flying. Oh, we're already over strength here. Oh, well, whatever. Can't hold the damn air bases. Now we got you got God, oh, bloody hell. Expect if I put you into line. Okay, Claude Ockenlock. What do we know about you? Level five, so that shouldn't be bad for skill. Um, what are your traits? 
career officer, defense. Ah, oh, sorry. What, I can check what your radio and other texts uh, affect combat. Yes, I suggest not attacking them until they are weakened. Yeah, you're right, but I, I'm, I got units cut off, so I need to counterattack. Is my at least my concept, but maybe I need to withdraw. I mean, it's. Uh, mess. Does your Air Force have aces? Yeah, and I'm not I'm not managing them well. I know that. Okay. Um Build some more. Um what do we need? Just more anti tank? Okay, yeah, that and tactical bombers. So let's go with um strategic close air support we're getting a lot of that oh we yeah actually we did this to move over to better um, do we have tactical bombers in production I thought we did yes okay and we need more so we'll do that with our more and we could use more steel from somebody who do we want to get it from yes the United States let's go there that will be helpful. Keep that in production. Yeah, it's, I'm thinking I'm going to um, get all the units that I can out now before the AI completely loses me the, the battle. Unfortunately, those two are gone. Treaty of Vladivostok. Wow. Wow. Japan gets a lot, even though they had been defeated. Manchukuo is back. New Mongolian Empire here. Um, I wondered why the game was locking up for a moment. It was doing its... Well, at least Hungary didn't get huge amounts. That would have been entirely unrealistic. Well, chat, what do we say? Is the series over? Because, you know, I don't know how many units were fighting in the Soviet Union, but we weren't holding here. Now, I don't know whether... Um, our support at bottlenecks here or here might be able to hold out. Um, and naval-wise, I think we can hold Britain, and I think we can hold, I think we can hold South, uh, Northern African coast. I don't know if they start coming through Iran, we're going to hold, well, what we could hold down there. Japan, well, um... The U.S. might be able to contain that threat navally, but yeah, it's yeah, um, yeah. Maybe if I invaded Japan, sure, but they have the Soviet industry now. Yeah, it's over. Sue for peace. Yeah, that's. I think that's it, guys. I have another couple of ideas for games here, but um, to play, so the the stream isn't over. But I think this series is over at this point. I think I won the naval war, what there was of it. But um, and the AI wasn't too bad. I mean, we we can definitely look at places where it didn't go well, but. Nothing like it was at start. Well, those of you watching on YouTube, 
thank you so much for watching thanks for liking the video if you would um, I don't really see a good reason to go on uh, I do know that there are a few people that want to either see me fight it out to some sort of bitter end but yeah not enough people want to watch that and maybe if we were playing as America um, well we probably could have kept the Soviet Union from falling by a more aggressive path but not as Britain I don't think I don't think we could have so thanks so much thanks for liking love to hear your comments on the series the game how it's improved uh, we'll see about going with some other mods or something for um, likely for more Hearts of Iron 4 content soon and we will be doing some Hearts of Iron 3 and as well as other games so hopefully you stick around on the channel thanks so much for watching see you next time for more yes Hearts of Iron